anybody who watches this channel regularly, you will know that I'm all about cars, cabs, ULES, London, generally giving everybody a fair crack. Every now and again, a story comes up which diverts my attention away, and this is one of those such stories. I was made aware of something to do with a, a department known as the uh, Child Maintenance Service. And when I was sent some material to watch to see what was actually going on, I have to admit I have a very personal connection with all of this. I was absolutely dumbfounded. And I want you to listen and I want you to pay attention and I'll share with you a little bit of what I found out now. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Thank you very much for joining me once again. As always, I appreciate your support and you coming along to see me. Well, this is slightly different uh, going off in another direction with what we usually cover on this channel. And this is very, very important that this is, well, exposed. This is put out there. So please share this video with your social media contacts and anybody else you come across because if it can save just one life it has got to be worth it i'm referring to the situation with regard to child maintenance payments and the child maintenance service as a whole now to understand my personal co connection to this i, I want to roll back to the 80s 1984 1985 uh, my mum and dad uh, actually divorced uh my my dad was a police officer he he joined in the uh early well early to mid 70s when he came out of the army and served for a long time and about 1984 1985 was the time of the minor strikes i'm sure we all remember those and that's when my parents uh divorced five six years old i was at the time and you know what my last memory of their marriage was standing outside a wooden door in a corridor in a local magistrate's court watching my parents my mum and dad either side of the judge through a, a like a, a small window with a wire mesh over the front of it and i can see that as clear now as i could then in 1984 1985 it'll never leave me thankfully everything was amicable uh my parents dealt with everything I could see my dad whenever I wanted, no problem. The thing that sticks, though, is what, what happens when parents do split up. You don't have a mum and a dad in the same house anymore. Not everybody's lucky enough that they have the kind of upbringing that I ended up with, very fair. But I made a promise to myself that if I ever got with anybody and had children, I wouldn't do it unless I was damn sure and damn certain that it would be for, well, eternity. Of course, that's an ideal situation. It doesn't always happen, does it? There are various uh, circumstances in this world where children are brought into it, uh, some of them not ideal, and others where parents just fall out of love, something happens and they split up. And then you've got the situation where, you know, how much does the dad pay the mum to support the child, what they consider reasonable? In my in my case, you know, uh, that was all dealt with at the time. But the uh, child maintenance service has been around for about 30 years. And there's been some very, very uh, damning features and damning articles out about them very recently, and some of which has been sent my way. Now, when a father leaves the marital home, generally uh, they're taken to the cleaners with regard to maintenance payments. And they make an offer of what they can afford. And more often than not, it ends up being a figure which they can't afford and leave them, leaves them absolutely destitute. And the amount of... Uh, fathers i've heard about who have taken an option which 
is tragic for all concerned, is unbelievable. And it's all to do with the pressure put on them by the child maintenance service. Even when parents agree between themselves, the CMS still gets involved. One of the things that is done with fathers, uh, I mean, I'm saying fathers, it's the assumption that that's the case. Their income is artificially inflated by something like 300%. They could then go to the child maintenance service and say, well, hang on a minute. I don't actually earn what you're telling me, telling me I earn. This is it. Here's the wage slips and everything else. And the process of trying to get that changed is very, very difficult indeed. And chaos in, in an already chaotic situation is in the best interest of the CMS because there's more money then. Yes. And then when they make an unreasonable demand for payment, from uh, the, the non-resident parent, we will call it, and they fall foul, then they can enforce it by taking taking money out of their wages. They can even add a percentage on for the trouble. And there are loads and loads of pitfalls like that. This is really just, you know, scratching the very surface of the story. And I wanted to show you uh, an example off of uh, one of the websites I'll make this full screen here so you can see what we're talking about. Now, this is an example, and it's basically how's a payee supposed to live? This is, uh, you know, the key thing here. Now, I'll leave this banner in place. This is where the uh, full article comes from. But basically, let's hypothesize that a relationship breaks down. My net salary is currently £21,380. And 64, 64 pence, and there's been a child maintenance deduction of four thousand nine hundred and seventy nine pounds and uh, four pence. Now, bear in mind what I already said about artificially increasing the salary. You can do the maths there, and it, it just doesn't it it doesn't equate. Uh, this leaves me with an income of three hundred and fifteen pounds a week. Um, you know, rent £102 a week, uh, Palmer Bridge, 650 electric, gas, water rates, council tax card, all essential bills that need to be paid. I mean, at the end of the day, if you don't eat, what's the point? Pretty fixed outgoings uh, that, only incre that only increase, and these total 287.31. So if you take that from the 315, this person is left with absolutely nothing at all. Uh, the gross payment that they get from their job, that's before tax, is 27,471.96 and leaves a maximum of 2831, as long as there's no additional fees like clothes, car maintenance, or anything else. Uh, even if I could take extra income, the child maintenance service will increase the amount I have to pay. Surely me paying something reasonable to support my children is better than me paying nothing. My ex-wife and child maintenance service are pushing me out of work as it becomes unaffordable to go. So you're literally forced onto the breadline uh, by the child maintenance service. And I have heard so many horror stories over the last 24 hours about, well, non-resident parents. I keep reminding saying about fathers making that ultimate decision the easy way to end it all it's a tragedy and it is happening all too often now there are other things in the pipeline there are other pieces of information that i've got my hands on uh, which i want to bring to the fore but please it's important share this information it needs to get out there and you know they're even talking about public inquiries already and I tend to think that something needs to be done. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments below. I'm off. As always, thank you. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. I'll see you shortly with one more. Toodaloo.